Okay, so in the previous video, we already prepared our uh, target protein as well as the uh, ligand. So now we will uh, use an online free um, service to dock our ligand to the target. So now you can go to the swissdoc ch slash docking over here so currently unfortunately the server is unavailable but it will be available outside of 8 p.m and 10 a.m cest so later on you can uh, try that by yourself it's very easy so you can just go to swiss doc and then click the tab submit docking over here so what you can do is you can just upload your file so this is uh, the uh, file that you need uh, that you already prepared for the target right so over here later on you can just uh, upload the pdb file so you can search for target or up upload file right click and then just uh, choose file so for example over here i already prepared the uh, tree max uh, structure in pdb file so you can just click on that and then it will be uploaded and then also you can upload file for this one right choose ligand and you already prepared the ligand over here the lead in mol2 format so please note that it's it has different format for the protein will be in pdb but for the ligand will be in mol2 over here so you can just click on that and then open but now i cannot do that because it's still unavailable and then after that you can just put your name uh, the, uh, sorry you can put the job name for example this is the tree max lead okay and then you put your email, right? Okay. For example, like that, and you can add extra parameters. So for example, if you want your docking to be very accurate, you can click on that one. If you want a very fast, but usually less accurate, you can use this one, or if you want to fast. So for example, if you want to, uh, limit the docking uh, region. So for example, you already know the uh, binding site. So you can put the uh, location or the, uh, what is it? Like uh, the coordinate of the area that you want your ligand to be docked, right? So the size over here, so it's in Cartesian um, diagram so basically you can put the size of the x-axis the y-axis and z-axis and also the location okay of the uh, center of the x-axis y-axis and the z-axis and then over after you fill everything you can click start so i cannot do that right now but you can just click, click start and then later on it will uh, after some time so usually it will have this kind of result okay so usually it takes uh, for the fast one if you choose the fast one it will take around 10 to 15 minutes but if you use the accurate one it can be uh, very very long right so uh but you can use the accurate one if you have quite a long time uh maybe 30 minutes or so and this is the result so it already tried to dock your dock your um ligand to all possible binding with the uh, receptor and you have different clusters over here so i will show you what it means later on so basically in one cluster you can have different confirmations of your ligand and then you can look at the full fitness the energy and then the estimated uh, delta gibbs energy over here so you can see the more minus it is then it means that it has better affinity towards the receptor so you can just check on that and you can also download the file this one so you can download your prediction file and then we can visualize it in the chimera 
Okay, so now I will show you how to visualize our data in Chimera. I will just close session, okay, over here. So what I can do is that Okay, so now we already downloaded the file. So after you download, make sure that you unzip the file and you know the directory or the folder that you save this file in because later on we will need to open it uh, through the Chimera. So for example, I will open. Now I will open this one. So I already know the location of this. So I already save uh, the file, the Swiss doc file, and I will unzip it. After I unzip it, I have this content, right? So I will open the target.pdb. I will open it like this, right? So this is from the Swiss doc. And then now we will look at the docking result. We will click tool and then surface or binding analysis and then view doc over here. And then you will click the clusters.doc4.pdb. So it will show you all the docking result uh, from the Swiss doc. Open, click auto doc, for example. This is just the file type. And then So this is the result of the docking. So you have different result, right? So for example, this one, number one, right? This is number 24. So it tried to find where this ligand can bind. So, and then you can see lots of position with lots of confirmation of the ligand, right? So you can also put it in movie, for example, like this. So if you look at, you see the energy, the full fitness, right? The parameters over here, the results. Okay, so you can start looking at different. So for example, this is not a different cluster than this one. So it has different uh, confirmation but within this cluster and then later on we will see that this is another cluster so cluster basically a position where uh, the ligand can bind but there will be several confirmations so if you look at your doc result over here right so for example you have cluster zero and then it has different confirmations right possible binding over here with different energy uh, that shows the affinity so later on your uh, homework is that to perform this kind of docking using the analogs that i gave you before and you need to analyze which analog that has a uh, better um, affinity to the receptor and remember that you need to identify the uh, binding site, uh, right? So then you can compare the energy or the affinity of different analogs uh, and then you need to report that, okay? Okay, so I think uh, th this conclude our uh, tutorial over here. So you can do the analysis later on by yourself by comparing the docking result.